Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanika, and in today's video, I am going to be talking about five must have base products if you have fair skin. So the products I'm talking about today are ones that you are going to be applying before the foundation even touches your face. Prepping your skin and getting it ready for makeup is super important. And if you've got fair skin like me, that is a little problematic. You have a little bit of redness or you suffer with breakouts, then these products will be lifesavers for you. If you enjoy this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and subscribe to my channel. The first product I want to talk about today is a green primer. Now, if you're a regular to my channel, you would have heard me rave and rave and rave about green color correcting primers. Now under this face of makeup, there's actually a bit of acne, a lot of redness, and some pigmentation and scarring. Now the thing is that being so fair, the pigmentation and the redness and all that is so much more visible on our skin because there is no pigment to our skin to hide all that. So if you find that when you apply your foundation, you can still see your pimples and your scars and your redness showing through, then a green primer is going to be the answer for you. So my absolute favorite product is the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer. I'll insert a little demo here and you can see the before and after shots, how well it just counteracts that redness and leaves my skin looking more neutral rather than red. I've tested quite a few green primers and I find that this one does the best job at dulling down that redness. Now a green primer isn't going to be for everyone. You may not have overall redness. You may just have a little bit around the corners of your nose or on your mouth or a few blemishes that are just really red. In this case, I would suggest going in with a green color correcting concealer. With the concealer, you can be a lot more precise with your application. So I like to go in with a dense brush and I just dab the concealer off of the wand or apply it to a palette. I don't like to apply the wand directly onto my breakouts because I don't want to be putting those germs back into the bottle. I then just go ahead and tap out the green concealer. It can look a little bit confronting if you're not used to it, but if you blend it out nicely and remember that less is more, once you put your foundation on, it will be covered. Now there are differences when it comes to color correcting concealers, and I would definitely recommend a green that is more pastel. Pastel? So I'll just give you an example of what I mean. This one here is the one I used in my demo. It's the Astralis Color Clip Concealer. And here we have one by Maybelline. As you can see, this one is a lot lighter. So it's just going to blend into the skin a lot easier and not be so obvious when you're covering it with your foundation. Don't get me wrong, the darker green will still work, but if you're new to color correcting, I would definitely recommend a more pastel shade. My next must have product for your base is actually having a concealer that matches your skin tone. So here I have the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade 322 Ivory and this is a super full coverage concealer that matches my skin tone. So I like to use this to cover blemishes. It's as simple as that. After I go in with the green concealer, I do like to go over the top with a skin colored concealer just to make sure the blemishes are definitely covered and you're not going to be seeing any green peeping through my foundation. This especially is a good trick if you like to wear more light to medium coverage foundations. If you wear full coverage foundations, this step isn't really necessary, but if you do want more of a lighter coverage or if you're going for that no makeup makeup look and just want to cover your blemishes, a full coverage skin matching concealer is the way to go. My next must have base product again has to do with color correcting, but this time we're going for a peach colored concealer to correct the dark circles under the eyes. Now being so fair, a lot of the products we use can still be quite transparent just because of the shade. So if you're finding you're trying to cover up your dark circles under your eyes with a concealer, but it's just not working, you're not getting the coverage that you want, go in with a peach colored concealer. The one that I absolutely love is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer in the shade Fair. And as you can see, I am almost 
out of this, but you really don't need a lot. So this little tub is going to last you a really long time. I just like to go in and get a little bit of product on my finger and then lightly tap this under the eye. And you can see the difference that it makes as it just covers up that darkness. Now I know my under eyes aren't that severe, but this little step really helps in getting that full coverage look that I love under the eyes. Again, with peach correctors, you can get more of a light peach to a darker peach. So that's why I love the NYX ones because they come in different shade categories. As I mentioned, this shade is fair. So it's a really light peach color and it's not going to look too overwhelming on your skin. You can just pat it to blend it in. And then when you go over the top with your concealer, even if it is a medium to light coverage, the peach is doing most of the work covering up the darkness. So adding your concealer is just going to give you what you want. And then the last product I think you must have if you are super fair like me are lightning drops. These ones here are by Astralis and they are called the Match Maker Shade Adjusting Drops. And this is simply a white liquid that you can add into any foundation and it's going to make it lighter. I find it doesn't affect the consistency of the foundation or the formula at all. The market has become a lot better in the last couple of years with fair colored foundations, but still there are some ranges that just don't go light enough. So having this product in your collection can be a huge help. You just add one to two drops in, depending how light you need to go, mix it in and voila. All right, well, they are my top five must-have base products. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, leave me a comment down below because I would love to have a chat about it with you and help you if you are struggling in any of these areas. If you haven't already, make sure you press that subscribe button for more videos and don't forget the little notification bell as well so you're notified every time I upload. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. I will have that linked down below. And I think that is all from me today. I hope you're having a great day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.